In this example, we're going to add integers using a number line. So a number line is a very useful way of visualizing both adding and subtracting integers. So um, in general, this is what we're going to do for a positive number. We're going to move to the right. And for a negative number, we're going to move to the left. So just like positive numbers are to our right and negative numbers are to our left, we're going to use this same idea when we're using the number line. So let's start with the first one. So we're going to start at 0, and then we have 5 plus 3. So 5 will get us to here. There's 5, or positive 5. And now we're going to move 3 more in the positive direction. And notice the end result, or the sum, is where we end up when we take these two combined amounts, which is at positive 8. So I'm going to write 5 plus 3 equals 8. Let's look at the next problem. So here we're starting with a negative 5. So I'm going to start at 0. Now I'm going to move 5 to the left. which takes us here. Notice to the point negative 5. So this is minus 5. And now we're going to move another 3 to the left. And our sum, or end result, is where we end up after we combine these two amounts. And notice we get negative 8. And this corresponds to what we learned with the chip model. And notice it's the same idea. Here, since they're both positive, um, the positive distance is, we'll say, accumulating. We have the 5 and then another 3. They're moving in the same direction, so you could think of adding 5 and 3 to get 8. Here, since they're both negative, we have negative 5 and negative 3. All of those movements are accumulating, and we end up going a total of 8 in the negative direction. So you can think of adding the numbers 5 and 3 to get 8, and since they're both negative, they accumulate in the negative direction. Let's look at the other two types we learned with the chip model. And this is when we have opposite signs. So we're going to use, go to the right for positive numbers, and go to the left for negative numbers. So here we're starting with a positive 5, so I'm going to start at 0 and move 5 to the right, which takes us to here. So this is plus 5. But now we have to add a negative 3, which means we need to move 3 to the left. So starting at the point where we left off at 5, we're going to move 3 to the left. I'm going to do this a little bit above the line so we can see it. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3 to the left. And notice we end up at 2. So we have positive 5 plus negative 3 gives us positive 2 because it's to the right of 0. Okay, So notice just like with the chip model, um, some of the values, the second value or the smaller value in absolute value canceled out. So we went 5 in the positive direction, 3 in the negative direction, but since 3, uh, the absolute value of negative 3 is 3, it's less than 5. So it counteracts some of the 5 in the positive direction, but not all of it. So we end up on the positive sign of the number line, and we have the difference of 5 of three and 3, which is 2. Now let's look at the next one. We start with negative 5, so I'm going to start at 0 and go 5 in the negative direction. So this is negative 5, and now we want to go 3 in the positive direction from negative 5. So we're going to start here and go 1, 2, 3. So this is positive 3 from negative 5. I'm sorry, this went past it a little bit. We go right to here. And this is our final result. Lost this too. So we go 5 in the negative direction for negative 5, and then 3 in the positive direction, and notice our final result is negative.
negative 2. And again, this is the difference between 5 and 3. If we subtract 5 and 3, we get 2. Okay. And since we went further in the negative direction, since the absolute value of negative 5 is bigger than 3, that means our answer is going to be negative, negative 2.